What's going on guys? This is nothing but bread here and today I'm gonna be presenting my version 2 of my XP lobby mod menu. Now I've already enabled four souls earlier to, for this demonstration and the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what it does in a real live public match. Actually, I better start now. As we spawn in here, you'll notice you'll get this menu right here that pops up. This is its default theme. And I'm gonna first here enable God Mode for the demonstration. And what we're gonna first do when using the map menu is select a lobby format. I'm just gonna select the Smart XP lobby to uh, what it's gonna do is it's going to, so I'm gonna first clear players. It's just the thing to do whenever switching lobby types. That way everything completely works. It's not required, but if you want everyone spawning in and the right action being could you want to do that. What this does, the Smart XP, XP Lobby unlocks, what it does is it checks the player's level. If the player is not level 55 or Master Prestige, they are kicked and given XP. And as you see right here, everyone except for that uh, Raygun Killer guy is getting kicked because Raygun Killer is Master Prestige. And instead of getting um, XP kicked, or that is getting uh, XP and then getting kicked, he's getting unlocks instead. And that's because you can only get unlock um, camos and various other unlocks when you're level 55. Otherwise, it doesn't stick. That's what that function does. The XP lob what the XP lobby does is let me uh toggle that real fast. You gotta actually disable it. You gotta disable the other one and then enable another one. Otherwise, it'll give you an error message. It doesn't crash the game. It just messes with you. And to apply it, I'm going to kick all again. And now everybody, regardless of um, rank, will get kicked from the game and get an XP. That's what that function does. That's the XP lobby. The unlocks lobby is the exact same as the uh, if uh, you have the smart XP and unlock uh, lobby on what happens to level 55 players, except there's no filter and everybody, that command is applied to everybody. And as you see right here with that lobby active, everybody's getting kicked. You mad bro is going to get kicked despite being level 55 and that other guy got kicked despite being master prestige. That's what the XP lobby does. Unlocks lobby is the reverse of that except it's unlocks but it doesn't stick to anyone that's not level 55 or master prestige. Normal lobby you simply set this if you uh, want to uh, have a normal lobby. Actually that guy got in so I'm going to uh, just kick him real fast. Anyway, so that's what that, and then the troll lobby, I'm not going to demonstrate doing this one, but if you want to screw around, if you enable this lobby type, which you see right here, if I try to enable a different lobby type, it'll send you saying what's currently enabled. And you'd, you'd have to press normal lobby or disable in order for it to work, to enable, that is. And what it does is it enables personal anti-quit for anyone spawning in and freezes them. The, the control is not the system, and then you press the undo troll to release people from that to allow them to play. For a brief time. And then swap lobby type, it simply toggles the lobby type. It switches to a different restart game, end game, anti quit, kick all. Those are obvious. And now I'm gonna wait for. I get so much spam messages, guys, I'm sorry. Okay, so the following next menus here are the uh, fun lobby. You got the crank lobby. You've got the. Uh, can we, they got the funny kill lobby, got boom squad lobby, and master slayer lobby, and then you got the master slayer wind condition adjust slider, which allows you to adjust the wind condition of the master slayer lobby. The crank lobby is cranked from ghosts, except with a few added twists to it. There's nothing else to it. If you play ghosts, you play cranked, you know what it is. What funny, uh, what the funny name lobby is, the funny kill lobby, I mean is it's a uh, basically when when enabled and players spawn in with it enabled funny kill messages appear or different kill messages appear every time they kill somebody that's it boom squad is a uh, mode where your goal is to detonate the nuke and you get a nuke by getting um, surviving enough time and getting enough kills in a row without dying dying resets your resets your boom timer and then if you win you set off a uh, a timer and then it ends the game and triggers a massive explosion that kills anyone with an eyesight of you. That's Boom Squad, you're gonna enable that, these are fun game modes. Master Slayer is a game mode where you try to get rapid kills within the rapid kill timer, which is by default set to 5 seconds and every time you get a kill, after you get, after you 
what, you, what happens when you kill someone is it starts this timer and then you have five seconds to kill another person to score a point. If you don't do so, it simply resets and you have to get another kill to re-enable it. If you get another kill within that five seconds, three seconds are added and you get a point. Once you reach the um, required point number and then you get a kill afterwards, um, you win the game, countdown will initiate, then the game will end. And what the Master Slayer win condition does is it allows you to toggle it. You can also manually set this in the uh, GSC. So right here, I'm just adjusting it right here. Now the host seats menu is uh, it's pretty obvious. Nothing, nothing to explain here. You've seen this stuff on many other menus before, unless this is your first menu. And in that case, look elsewhere. This tutorials on everything else that's on that menu. The camo menu is pretty obvious. These simply set the camo, like so. Dynamic camo is basically camos. You can configure dynamic camo in the config. As of right now, you can't uh, configure. You can't change the time it takes to uh, change camo yet in game. It will be a future feature, but you can in the config. You'll see the value highlighted, and I can simply turn it off once I reach the desired camo. I just don't want it cycling camos. The account men menu can be used to give yourself things. You usually use an RTM tool for this, but you know, it's there if you want to. Theme menu, this theme menu right here allows you to set a few themes you want. Earlier versions were bugged, this one, this version is no longer. See right here, garden theme, gold theme. These have a bunch of preset themes. It's a little bit hard because I'm recording in AV to see some of these. So you'll definitely want to, uh, depending on the resolution you're playing at, might depend on what you choose. Now I'm gonna switch this, uh, yeah, it's a little bit hard to see. I'm gonna switch back to default. <laughs> anyway, that allows you to change preset themes. The theme creator you guys might have a lot of fun with. What this allows you to do is to create your own theme in-game without having to do any coding whatsoever. Now, how to use this is you're first gonna want to um, start the color chooser. Okay, now with it enabled, the controls are as follow. The D-pad and the circle, the buttons that are activated are the D-pads. See right here, I'm toggling, I'm using left and right on the D-pad. And if I push up and down on the D-pad, the values will change. If you push up, the value will change that is selected. If you push down, it'll lower. Pushing left will will cause it to move to the, will cause the uh, selector to move to the right, while pressing left on the D-pad will cause it to move to the left. Anyway, if you press circle once you have uh, I have blue selected and you press circle with this active, it'll set it to the midpoint, which is 128, or around the middle point. And this allows you to quickly toggle what value. This is RGB, so if you guys know about that type of stuff, it might be helpful to have a visual um, representation of it, such as GIMP, um, Photoshop, there are various other programs where you can simply insert the RGB value in and you'll see what it is. You can type it in right here, along with the acropicity or the el alpha. And you'll be able to get your um, color. And in this case, I'm going to st I'm going to go with the uh, well. I'm just going to toggle these values a little bit. I'll go with the mid value here for this one. Duh, 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 duh. And then I'll go and set it to 55. And then once you're done, you press melee and it saves. Okay. Now once it's saved in, you've got it saved in the RAM. What you can then do is you can apply it to various portions of the menu. There are five portions. You've got the background. Let's apply this to the background. I just clicked on it. And then I can apply it to other things, but I'm just going to leave them be. And then I'm going to press set custom theme and it changes the background. And that the output of those uh, colors was that background. And yeah, that's really that. One thing I'm going to want to show before I get to the debug menu is if you go into general debug and enable the temp t tool temp color save this allows you to save the value you're working with in the uh, tool otherwise it simply resets to 000255 i'm just going to enable that real fast and i'm going to quickly create a uh, different shader for the scroller as right here now right here my values are saved so i'm going to uh I'm actually going to set this to half, scroll over, lower these values a little bit, and now I'm going to save these again and then apply it to a different portion. I'm going to buy it, say, to the lines. 
Okay, I just applied them to each one of the lines. Apply. Then it applied. Sometimes if you press all through the line, so it's kind of a little bit of a bug, it doesn't quite completely apply. In that case, you simply go and simply, uh, with the, uh, save on, simply press this. Change the value, then resave. And looks like it didn't apply properly at the bottom line and the other line. So I'm going to quickly manually set it each one. Just do this. Yeah, don't know why it does this, but sometimes does this, sometimes doesn't. But anyway, if it does, if you don't like the coloring you have, you can always reset it by going to the theme menu and just selecting something, usually something like default. Still, it's got a few minor flaws, but I'm working through them. And I'm still, yeah. But anyway, that's that. It's pretty good. You can use it to customize your shaders. Now, toggle mix text color allows you to change the uh, text of the menu. Now, since it's set to black, if I if I change menu now, it's black. I go back to theme creator. Now I can change it to red. Now it's red. I can now it's green. You can really get really cool. You can really get down to the wire with this. Just by now, it's cycling through all the colors there is to choose from. Purple, and then back to default. So you can really, you can really customize the menu with this. Now the debug menu is where you're gonna see a lot of things. If you go into this, you'll notice it says advanced users only. It literally is only for advanced users. If you don't know what you're doing, please stay out of this menu. Anyway, you can get information like the lobby type info. And you could uh, enable auto kick on lobby change. It's something I put in there. You can enable it. You can use it. If you have this enabled, it'll kick everybody when you change the lobby type. Whenever the uh, camel lobby is enabled, it only runs the camel command once on players, so that way uh, it doesn't uh, spam them if when they spawn in again, since dying is a part of COD and you get killed all the time. Let's continue the tut tutorial. Alright, so really that's going to sum it up for uh, this area of... Actually, never mind. And continuing after the uh, little event there... You can, um, the disable give camo on spawn, what it allows you to do is after the camo command is um, run on players, they cannot use it again until they re um, they reconnect. And this is just to um, get rid of a freeze that sometimes occurs on players when it's run multiple times in addition to the constant spam on the screen. Instead of doing that, it gives them a camo. You can disable that here. And then you can also enable auto kick after the unlocks from the camo uh, unlock section complete on a player. That way your lobby can keep clearing. Alright, and these active areas, uh, these fun modes affect the uh, fun lobby modes. As you right here, this right here simply sends, tells you what fun lobby is enabled. Then you can go into here and uh, screw around with these values. Don't really mess around with these values unless you know what you're doing. Anyway, that's really that. In the general area, you're going to find the overflow test. That's used to test to see if the overflow patch still works. If it fails this, you know the menu's got overflow issues. You've got the uh, better XP. This is still an experimental feature. I'm still working on making the XP kick feature a little bit better. This is an experimental version. If it doesn't work, don't get mad at me. I've already shown this what this does. And these right here allow you to get the actual colors of the shaders in exact numbers. Right here, the lines right here, and the background color, that shows what's currently displayed. If I go and let's uh, go to the theme menu and choose the uh, storm theme, for example, let's go and go back to that menu, the fun, not the fun mode, the general, we'll get a different value because it's uh, differently colored. Anyway, that's the debug menu and the rest of it. If you uh, toggle a lot of settings, and you are having issues against bugging out, simply use this as will revert your changes temporarily. Now the player menu, see right here, as players constantly get removed from the game, contains a few basic commands right now. You can give people random camos, I'll give myself a random camo, can lower stats, kick them, freeze controls. Oh shit, just kept myself.
and all that other stuff. Yeah, I was going to press the give weed command, but anyway, what that does is it causes this blade to start tripping out. Anyways, since on that note, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. The download link is in the description and on the thread, because it's going to be put on the thread. And that